ourselves a New Holland 8870 that we got to work on. Uh, good size tractor right here. I mean the tire is uh, taller than me so anyway uh, customer complaint was hard starting and uh, they burned through batteries and ether cans and stuff like that in order to get the start so run it over here we'll took a quick look at it and Already had her primed and all that, so she should start right up now. I mean, I, I ran her for a little bit, and now I let her sit for 15, 20 minutes. So let's see what she does. Look at that! That's awesome. All right. So, I'll tell you what, it's a cold one, Woo! but yeah, uh, the engine was warm already, so that will make it sh start a little easier than when it's cold. Well, let me show you the old, uh, the old fuel pump, that's right here. So there's a lobe right there in the injection pump that keep, that pushes this right here, and that's your fuel pump. And then, uh, so this right here is your fuel line going in. Get this your pump and your hand primer. And then here's the fuel line going out into the injection pump. Look at that. So yeah, so there is there's a piece missing here, and I don't know if it if it shows in the camera, but uh, that rubber war is worn, so it doesn't really want to close anymore. See, and this is supposed to go up and down, so that way it it's like a backflow preventer, and that way it can build up pressure to the um, to the injection pump, and won't bleed off. And that was bad so yep we got that fixed now we need to send this thing back for core so we got that fixed so if you ever if any any of the people ever have any trouble with anything like that on a uh, on a New Holland Turned the tractor over a couple times and it was barely any fuel coming out. There was no fuel coming out of the injection lines right here. So then I went down here and then I just crank, cranked the engine over. But like I said, there was barely any fuel coming out. And then when you hand primed it, by, you know, with the, with the hand primer here, there was fuel coming out, but uh, lots of air bubbles in it and stuff like that. So yeah, so that was telling me that the pump was bad. So there you go. Got this thing fixed. She's ready to ship. So, I'm gonna call the customer tomorrow morning. It's the end of the day, but yeah, something different. You can see, I used to work on a lot of this stuff, so yeah. But uh, it's cold outside, boys, so I'm going back inside. So, all right.